there's something really intuitive about Ollie's drawings, and I think that a lot of it came from Freddie Moore. The Freddie Moore was the guy who really created the look of Disney animation. Uh, he did it intuitively. It just came out of him. He added the the, the cheeks to Mickey Mouse and the, that squash and stretchiness to the dwarves. And, and this these drawings right here are uh, Ollie's. These are some centaurettes that Ollie drew from Fantasia, and which has got a very Freddie Moore-like feeling. Freddie was an expert at drawing these girls. But you can see just the way the shoulder kind of arcs as she leans in, as the, they put some rouge on her cheeks, and then she starts to tilt back. And it's this beautiful S-curve flow. It, it's something that Freddie Moore kind of planted in Frank and Ollie and Milt and all the, the great animators. Uh, it's, it's really his thumbprint on all of Disney. Ollie's drawings have a real life to them. When you look at them, they, they squash and they stretch and in, in such a plastic kind of, of a way. And um, when I look at all these drawings, they're rich. Uh, like, you look at this scene of, of Todd for Fox and the Hound. You can feel how that character washes and stretches. The forms are so pliable. Um, it's like there's a lot of calories in these drawings. I mean, I feel like I get fat just looking at them. You know, I, I love drawings like that. That's, that's, that's why I love to draw. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was very easy working with Ollie because I, I found uh, a kindred spirit in him, somebody who, who finds that the pencil feels like it has nerve endings at the, the end of the point. Ollie would say, look for the golden drawing and use your time around it. And you can see that in his scene of Smee. Now, here he's listening to, to Captain Hook, and he's drinking a bottle of some rum. And you see these are drawings that really sell the attitude. As soon as you see it, they, they kind of plant themselves on your mind. And every golden drawing is a setup for the next one. I mean, each drawing serves to strengthen the following one that's going to come. So he's going to stuff this bottle in, in there. And then this nice anticipation before he's going to slam the lid shut. And bam, he shuts it. And there's this very kind of dim-witted, sort of a, a silly little look uh, of Smee. Now, Ollie was telling me that this character was a tougher character for him to animate because Smee was not a guy that thought deeply. Smee was very superficial kind of a character. And Ollie said he was one of the most difficult characters to animate. And when I think about it, I understand. I understand why, because Ollie thought really deeply about his characters. I mean, he, he had to enter way down under the skin to, to relate to them and to, uh, to animate them with his heart. Crawling into the heart of a character... In this case, here, Pinocchio is uh, talking to the fairy. Um, and Holly does these little gestures that would only occur to you if you really felt the way Pinocchio feels. Like here he is, he's kind of saying, I was going to go to school. And like the little kid, he's a little nervous. He's kind of nervous that he's telling somebody something that he knows that they don't really want to hear. He's about to say something. So it's this nervousness of his little finger kind of twirling in the, in the cuff of his pants as he's talking. And it's just those little touches, those little things like that, that prove to you that this character is real. These, uh, these drawings were up on Ollie's desk, remember, during Rescuers. I remember coming in, they were always sitting up above his drawing table. And they are so delicate, these little drawings of Penny. What a great observation of how it feels to be a little girl sitting on a, on a bed, with hugging her, her knees. And if you look at this uh, little thing here with, where Penny is kicking the sock off of her foot. You know, I know that 
as Ollie's drawing that, he's probably remembering himself as a little kid with a big long sock hanging off the end of his toes and he's drawing it relating to it. That, and you feel it. You believe it. What matters is your ability to really identify with the heart of your character, whether it's a little girl or whether it's a big bear. You know, he crawled under the, into their skin and, uh, and became that character.